What is going on guys? Welcome to a new episode of Pixel News. Excuse me, I'm a little under the weather here with this cold, so my voice might sound a little bit different, but we have just gotten our hands on Luma 7.0, the big freaking update, and it has a lot in store for CFW users on the 3DS. And we're gonna go over why this Luma 7.0 update is actually really good for the modding scene and what it adds to it. So we got a pretty sizable list of things in the changelog. I'm gonna go over some of the key things that stood out to me and that are pretty important to the scene and can add value. First off, IPS patching is now possible. Combine this with a full layered FS implementation straight into Luma Custom Firmware and you have easy game modding for like games like Pokemon, being able to do like texture hacks and translations and all the works. Basically, you all you have to do is take the modified files that the developer puts up and stick them into a folder onto your SD card and already the functionality in Luma is built in to immediately boot up said mods for said game. It's actually really intuitive and really easy. This used to be done with NTR custom firmware or Hans, but now it's baked straight into Luma and it's easier than ever to mod games. This little feature in itself could blow up the game modding scene for 3DS games and we could see even more texture hacks and more translations and more fan patches. Just really cool stuff come out of this. Added unverified new 3DS SIG hacks support. That is interesting because SIG hacks is not a thing yet. The boot ROM has been dumped. Now for those who don't know what SIG hacks is, SIG hacks is a potential exploit for the biggest part of the 3DS security. It's like the top of the top of the top. So there's this boot ROM that only exposes itself for an extremely small amount of time as soon as the 3DS boots up. So it's hard for developers to actually get the boot ROM, but it has been dumped. It's not public quite yet. And there's no public exploits for it yet. But when this does happen and it will change the scene, Luma has support for it, which is really cool. Added possibility to patch NAND apps like the eShop. This is really interesting because this could potentially block out like update checks and block out different parts of the eShop that give you nags. Maybe it could even add potential functionality to the eShop like maybe ex extra search functions or the works. This also extends to other system titles, so other system titles can actually be modded, which is really interesting and weird to think, but sheesh, man, what are we not able to do anymore? Download play is now region free. Yes, that is right. If you import a game and you want to play download play with another 3DS, well, Luma will allow you to do that with no hassle or any problems. Just right out of the gate, this custom firmware will allow you region-free download play. So it was reported that an 11.4 Game Boy Advance Virtual Console and DS mode did not function. But thanks to this new Luma update, those are now functioning again. It's being reported by many users that these are continuing to work now on the latest 11.4. So that is rock and that was some functionality that was much needed. And low-key savage right here, several other improvements to overall system stability and other minor adjustments and bug fixes have been made to enhance the user experience. Does that sound very familiar to you at all? Does that like ring a bell for like the past years, several years? Hmm. That's pretty low-key savage aurora, right? I like it. Now there's a lot of different things in this update. Here's the change log. You can kind of look at it and see all the different things, but these were some of the notable changes. If you see any more notable changes that really stand out to you, you know, drop them in the comments and express yourself. Anyways, guys, this was super exciting. I always love to see the 3DS modding scene grow and Luma is one of the best custom firmwares out there for the 3DS and it just continues to get better. Let me know what you guys think about this Luma 7.0 update in the comment section below. Get downloading that, update your Luma, and start using these freaking new features because they're awesome. Anyways guys, please like it up, subscribe it up, and I'll catch all of you guys in future videos and live streams. Peace out crew.